Mother Nature painted the picture. I get the privilege to frame it. It's that simple. Revitalization and repurpose. Certain Spirit of Acadiana segments just tell you from the get-go what the theme's gonna be. This 2,000-year-old Cypress, 2,000-year-old, tells you that the story is about new life. It also tells you about a guy named Eric Cuvion who's helping to provide that new life. Mother Nature, again, has not been kind. There's splits, there's cracks, there's checks, there's, there's holes. Eric Cuvion of Burbridge had one career. I was in the oil field and the uh, pipeline business for, it's been 44 years. But the foundation of his next job was actually set in motion years ago. I have been woodworking since I was 15. And as he entered adulthood, Cuvion started making furniture. And this is a piece that I have one more coat left to put on. Dining room tables, end tables, desks. He owns property, about 2,000 acres east of the Atchafalaya Basin. And as he goes out for a hike or a hunt, he notices sinker logs, fallen cypress trees poking out of the ground. You gotta physically get a piece of equipment in there, dig them, roll them, chain them, pull them out, load them, bring them here, mill them. It's a, it's a process. I'm gonna cut this three inches thick. Once at his shop, that's when the magic really starts to happen. So Eric, this is going to be a... Mantle. All right, so this, what's... What this is a here? big mantle. This is what yeah, the client a wants. Yeah, a mantle. Cuvion takes these pieces of nature, hundreds and hundreds of years old, and gives them one last chance. These are dinosaurs that still have meat left on the bones, and there's no more. They're extinct. Eric Cuvion is 67 years old, and the marriage between pieces of history and fantastic talent are gloriously intertwined. Do you consider yourself an artist? I, I consider myself a good craftsman and an artisan of sorts. Word of mouth has been his best marketing tool, and his commissions range from $3,000 to $20,000. A lot of his customers, he says, are former Louisiana residents, and he is blessed to keep them connected to the place they call home. And they want a piece of Louisiana. They want a piece of their heritage. So I get to, I get to do that. <laughs>